Hey everybody and welcome back to Priest Gaming News. So, uh, Elder Scrolls Online, PS4, Tamiro Unlimited was hit by a server issue. People were just freaking out. They're like, oh my god, get this back up and why is it down? And they said we'll have an update, you know, at, they said they're working their hardest time to resolve the issue. We'll have an update at 10 p.m. British Standard Time. And, uh, they said, pretty much, we are still investigating login issues on Twitter. They said this on the EU mega server for PS4 and don't have an EA, ETA at this time and we'll share it once we know. So, they came out with an update for that at 2125 and said Zenimax has confirmed that select groups of users are now finding their way back onto the PS4 EU mega server, having waited like several hours to log in to the service again, but at least they're up and running again. I'm not a huge fan of the massive multiplayer online kind of games. I mean, I know they took off the subscription now, so it's a little bit better, but I just don't feel like playing only online i know a lot of people do it's just not my cup of tea i was but i'm kind of playing hypocritical here because i was actually gonna buy elite, da elite dangerous because it's on sale right now on steam for like 54 bucks and it looks really stinking good because it's like a galaxy and fight and all that good stuff i'm debating if i want to buy it yet i mean but most of the time it's kind of like the crew where it's only online and uh ea's new need for speed game only online it's like no you're turning me off with that stuff. But hey, if, if you guys like it, that's good. I just never got into them. So I guess uh, Tearaway Unfolded is going to be coming to the PS4 on September 8th of this year, and it's going to be thirty nine ninety nine. And, <laughs> I mean, this game looks pretty good. It was on the Vita uh, for a while. And I know, I know a lot of people probably wanted to come to PS4 because they probably didn't want to buy a PS Vita for it. So if you guys want to play it, it's going to be coming out September 8th, like I just said. Looks like a fun game to play. I'm not quite sure if there's going to be any pre-order bonuses and stuff, but I, there might be. You never know, some DLC or good stuff like that. And there's going to be a super limited collector's edition. <laughs> it'll come, you know, with an adorable Otoa plushie. And it'll be avail available from select retailers, so I'm assuming like GameStop and Walmart. And there's no price on that, but I'm going to assume it's going to be 60 bucks for that if the game's 40 And there's no, like... Really, I don't know. I can't really describe it, but this game looks decent. I'm not, I wouldn't pay 40 bucks for it, to be quite honest. I'd probably pay 20 It's probably you play it through it quick, and then it's like, all right, that was, that was a fun game, 20 bucks. But whatever. If you guys want to get it, go for it. It's coming out in September. Just not my cup of tea again. All right, so Street Fighter V will never appear on the Xbox One, you know, according to Capcom. Apparently, when uh, Street Fighter V was announced... A lot of fans were, like, caught off guard with their decision, you know, for the PS4 and PC. And pretty much a console exclusive to the PS4. And, pff, I mean, the fans were just, like, whoa. Why, like, I don't know why they're not coming to the Xbox One. And, you know, people, you know, thought, oh, maybe it's a timed exclusive. Uh, no, it's not. Because, uh, Capcom came out and said, uh, we're not talking about how we're handling post-launch content, but we can tell the relationship with Sony does open doors for things we have been, haven't been able to do in the past. Uh, the relationship serves a gameplay and development purpose and not just a marketing value. One comment we see a lot is for something like Super uh, Street Fighter V is going to be coming on Xbox, said the representative. But the reality is that it's a real partnership. We are console exclusive for this franchise for this numbered run. So, I mean... I, I, looks like they're not gonna be coming to the Xbox One anytime soon. I mean, are you really missing out on much? Not really. Cause the Xbox One apparently is gonna focus more at E3 on more AAA, or, uh, new, no, new IPs and stuff. So there's already a pretty, so, like, solid lineup coming. And now if they can just include more games with that, you're not, are you really gonna miss Street Fighter? Probably not. So it's not that big of a deal, but Capcom pretty much just said no, we're not gonna be coming to the Xbox One anytime soon. Alright, so the last piece of news here, Xbox One games, I guess, are coming with the Oculus Rift as well, and Phil Spencer said you'll be able to stream your Xbox One games to the Rift and play them using your Xbox gamepad controller. And no specific games were announced, and it wasn't clear how many games would be compatible with the Rift, but I can't really, I'm going to probably say Forza is going to be compatible, and the company hasn't had a price yet for the Oculus Rift, but I know the dev kit's 350 bucks. And it was fifteen hundred dollars 
is what is expected to be around, and that includes the cost of a PC if you don't have one already. So I'm going to assume it's going to be around 300 to $400 for the Oculus Rift. But we'll just have to see. I mean, I know Project Morpheus is coming, and if Sony seriously goes over four hundred dollars for the Oculus or the Project Morpheus, they're fucked. They're screwed. I mean, are you really gonna want to pay four hundred dollars for the console and four hundred dollars for a VR headset? I don't think so. I think they need to come in and do a, a really low price, like two hundred dollars, just to throw the market for a loop. But they might lose money on it. But guess what? They're making money on the PS4. So. If they came in at like 200 bucks, 250 bucks, that's a lot more comfortable than spending $400 for the console. But perhaps the Oculus Rift, they want to come to consoles. And I almost wonder if this will work with the PS4. Because then we'd have options, you know? But, alright guys, that's all I want to talk about. Make sure to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.